formula sheet. It stands for FF. Yep. Okay, so all the ex exponential equations using logs. All right. Yvonne has a balance of 3,215 in her savings account. Good for her. More than me. The account pays 2.4% interest per year. Compounded annually. How long will it take for Yvonne's balance to reach 5,000? Which formula are we using? Yes, it does. The one we used last unit. What was that? No. A equals P times 1 plus R over N times NT. Good. So what's my accumulated amount? How much does she want to gain total amount of money? 5,000. Okay. <laughs> and what's her uh, principal? She's investing how much? 3,215. One plus the interest rate. 2.4%. It's compounded annually, so that means N is 1. Annually is once a year. So it's just, we don't have to divide it by anything. To the power of, if n is 1, it's just going to become t. Okay. So first step is we want to get, if we're solving for an exponent, we want to get the base by itself. So who do we have to move? The three, yeah, 3,215. How do I move him to the other side? Divide both sides by it. So... 5,000 divided by 3,215 equals 1.024 to the power of t. So you divide both sides by the 3,215. What does that equal as a decimal? 1.55 approximately? I should guess I should grab our catch. I'll do it with you. 1.56. have it in here. There's a reason why. Why? <laughs> okay, so uh, back in exponential form, what do we have to do at this point? Either try and make the same base. Can we make the same base? No. That would be have to guess or check, or we'd have to graph it. Guess what? There is an algebraic to sol way to solve for the exponent, and we use logs. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, at this point, we've been stuck. Now, to solve this algebraically, we use logs. So how are we going to use logs? Well, the formula we're going to add to the, our formula sheets is this. If m equals n... If m equals n, then, if m equals n, okay, or should we do a and b? Who cares? Okay. If m equals n, then log m equals log n. So what does that mean? What that means is, is we can take the log of both sides. We take the log of both sides, we can then solve. Then, well, if m equals n, would you agree that then log m would equal log n? Yeah? Okay, well, let me show you. So let's take the log of both sides for this puppy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take the log of both sides. Why might I want to take the log of both sides? What could I do now? Which law could I use? <laughs> oh my goodness, which law could we use? <laughs> well, what's the only one we could use at this point? Look at, well, there's nothing we could do this on this side. What about this side? The t is an exponent. What can we do with the power? Bring it in front. That means we could isolate for t. We can get t by itself. So, if I bring the t in front, could I get t by itself? Yeah. How would I get t by itself? 
divide by log 1.024. Could you type that into your calculator? What? Well, notice we're, we're using base 10 automatically when we take log both sides, right? So we can just type this in. Then you can't combine them. So we're making the same base when we take the log of the same time, same both sides. So that's never an issue. You could also use natural log. It worked just the same. So in your calculators now, we should always use our exact values. So I would type log of my answer. Remember answer, second minus, okay? Always use your exact values divided by log of 1.024. And there is our answer. How many years? About 19 years or 18.6. Yeah, or natural log, natural log, which is base E, right? You could use any, as long as you're using the same base. Yeah, but you just wouldn't. You just wouldn't, though. Oh, we'll get to that in a moment. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you how. Okay, so, turn the page. Ask. Why not? I not even true. I was not even No, that was that was this. Ow! <laughs> okay, so if our left side is equal to our right side. Then log of our left side equals log of our right side. Log cat equals log cat. Uh, that's all we're getting at here, right? We already talked about this. Woo, woo, sorry, yes. Let's just mute this, thank you. There you go. Okay, okay things to remember. Oh, see, does anyone have a highlighter? If you have a highlighter or you like to underline, if m equals n, then this is true. Okay. Do you, not, do you need to write this base of 10? No. It's like writing a little 2 for square root. Okay. <laughs> so, sitting down to the nitty gritty. Sometimes an exponential equation can be solved algebraically by writing both sides of the equation with the same base. When did we do that? We just did when. Right? That's this. So could we make these the same base? Yes. Yeah. You can make 4, 2 to the power of 2. Okay, so if we can make the same base, we will do that. It's always easier than logs. It's always easier. However, if we can't make the same base, we used to use graphing. You could still technically use graphing, right? But if I asked you to show using logs, then we can use logs with base, taste, base 10 by taking the log of both sides. Now, another formula, which is on the board, here. Okay, so a lot of you are asking, how do I calculate this in my calculator when it's not a base 10? Well, then we take log of our x divided by log of our base. So for example, if I wanted to find log 2 of 8, now what should the answer be? What should the answer be? 3, why is it 3? 2 to the power of 3 would give you 8, right? 2 to the power of 3 would give you 8. So we should expect, so I could type this, how would I type this into my calculator? Log 8 divided by log 2. A lot of you have been waiting for this. Yes. Okay, so log, question. 
Not everything. I'll sh you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, okay? Like what we just did, that first question. Well, we can use the log buttons. Yeah. Okay, so log eight, close your brackets. Please do not forget to close your brackets. It's like finishing, or it's like not finishing a... And log two. Right? <laughs> Anyone saw the Big Bang Theory? No? No? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so it equals three. We expected it to equal three. In this case, it would be different. Uh, and the reason why, guys, listen up. If I don't close that bracket right there, what's happening? So log of 8 divided by log 2. So if I didn't close my bracket, you're not going to get the same answer. Because what it's calculating, it's calculating log 8 divided by log 2. That's what the calculator's doing. That's not what we want. Unless we close the bracket, then it's all good. Yeah. Uh, I'll break all. I'm gonna figure that out. It's like six questions long. An exponent. Okay. So. Okay. So guys, there's two ways to approach these. I need to move on. Okay. One is you can literally change exponential form to log form. So there's two options. So option one. So if I was to change this to exponential form, or sorry, to log form. Okay. What that would be is log, what's my base? Three of, no, let's go over here. Can other side of the equal sign equals x. Now we can use a new law. Which law is that? Change of base, it's called. Change of base. So this is called change of base. It's one of the log laws. Change of base. So log 3 of 10 is equal to log 10 divided by log 3. Could we type that into our calculator? Yeah. Okay, what's, what's the problem with this method? Well, there's nothing really wrong with it. Yeah, it's what we're doing already. The thing about this method is if you make a mistake changing it from exponential form to log form, then it's going to be wrong, right? So that's method one. It works. That's how I was taught. That's my habit to do. Um, but it's not always the best. So 2.096. Okay. So option two is a lot easier. And that's to take the log of both sides. You don't have to worry about changing the form properly. It'll all work out your, by itself. Since these two are equal, we can then say, therefore, the log of 10 to the x equals the log of 3. And so this is the method that I'm going to always use because I find students are less likely to make a mistake who use this method. No, I... <laughs> I just want the most success for you, right? Okay, so what's our next step after we take the log of both sides always? Bring down our exponent, power law. So the x is going to go in the front. And what's our last step to get x by itself? Divide by log 10. So log 3 over log 10. So much easier. 
0.477. Okay, so can you try the next one by yourself using either method? Okay, log of both sides is probably what both most of you did. So we bring the x down. So your answer is log 27 divided by log 4. Right? Because you have to get x by itself. So it gives you the wrong answer. So the answer should be... Make sure you oh. log 20. Well, because I want x by itself. Sorry, it's my fault. I want x by itself, so that's why we b divide both sides by log 4. So that x is by itself. So therefore, log 27 divided by log 4 should give you 2.377. How could you check your answer? Put it in. So I would go 4 to the power of my answer should equal 27. Woohoo! For D? Right? So we have 1x by itself divided by log 10. Okay, all right, so what about this situation? Can I turn the page? Yes, okay, so what about this situation here? Now, if I took the log of both sides, it would be a lot more work at this point. So you move five to the other side, you could still take the log of both sides, but then you'd have to use the product rule. It's going to be a lot more work. So the easiest way is get your base by itself. No, because it's multiplication, we're dividing. So that would be 7. And now you can do the log of both sides. Equals log 3 to the x. What's your next step after log of both sides? Bring the x to the front, so power law, and we want x by itself, so what are you dividing both sides by? Log 3. Sorry. So log 7, close the bracket, divided by log 3. Is this fun? Yeah. I love this stuff. It's fun when you get like the answer and it's a puzzle and you're solving it. It's a game. Unfortunately, it's a game you guys have to be tested on. It takes away a little bit of the fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Learning is fun. We're so lucky we can do this. It's better than working. Oh, actually, I'm definitely. Oh, okay, sorry. Oops. Okay, try the next one on your own. Or do you want to work this one together? Together? Okay, Spencer, are you trying this one? Or are we going to go together? Try it, give it a shot. So, divide both sides by, we want our base by itself. What should we do with the inside? Add it. 1.08 to the power of x, next step. Log 2, 0.08, we bring the x down. So, x equals what? What divided by do log what? Log 2. Spencer, you got this down? You got finished it? What did you get for your answer? Is that right? I don't know. 
mentioning it. Did you type in this? Yeah. Yeah, then you're good. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm, not really. That's why I called on you. No, because you want x by itself, Jesse. So if x is with the 1.08, that's who you're dividing both sides by. No. Just getting you to participate. That's all. All right. So do we need to go through this last one? No. Okay, let's skip it. Okay, change a base. Write each expression as a base 10. Okay, let me show you. So, if we want to write these with both base 10, we want to use change a ba base. Log 50 divided by log 5. Okay, could you type that in now? Yes. Now we can type that in. So, log is always base 10, so we can only use the log button if we're using base 10. So we have to use change a base to make it base 10. Right? So now it's like this is base 10 and 10 now. Are we supposed to remember what it is? Yeah. Well, th these three are on your formula sheet. This one's not. <laughs> Four and five. Those are easy. Those are easy. But you know what? Even if you forget these, if you know this one, you can get this one. Right? So really this this one, if you know if you know this rule, change a base, you can get this these answers of one and zero yourself in your calculator. Yeah. Yeah. So really, this is only the new law that you don't you have to memorize. Okay. So what would this become, uh, Jesse? Jesse. Jesse. Log what divided by log what? No, first tell me what it is for change of base. What would be the log on top? What's the inside? 5 over 8 divided by log of 2. Okay. What does that equal? Sorry, I forgot to write down the answer here. Okay. Try the last one on your own. Try the last one on your own. Okay, settle down, children. Okay. <laughs> A lot of chitter chatter is going on. So, do you understand this then? Yes? Good. We have to add a harder question then. Okay, uh, so here's the thing. Why don't, we'll finish off the rest of this, these notes tomorrow. So I don't know how much time left is in class. Hmm? No. No. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So we'll finish this tomorrow.